Good morning, everyone. Did you guys have a good week? Yes? Well, today I want to talk to you about love, okay? Oh, and I'm sorry, I meant to say this while everybody was coming down. If any of you are interested in telling a children's story or know someone you'd like to volunteer, there's my phone number right up there. Please call or text me and let me know. Thank you. Okay, so back to my story. I want to talk to you guys about love, okay? Now, how many of you love your parents? Yep. How many of you know that your parents love you? Yeah, so you guys all know that. So since you know that your parents love you, they don't need to tell you that, do they? No, they, they do need to tell you, right? And, but since they know that you love them, that means you don't ever need to tell them you love them, right? No, you do. You need to tell your parents that you love them. Even though they know and you know, it's still nice to hear. It's nice for somebody to go up and give you a hug and say, I love you, isn't it? Yeah. Now, what are some ways? I just said a hug. A hug is one way, and you can tell them another is another way. What are some other ways that you can show that you love someone? Who can think of a way? Yeah. Kindness. So being kind to someone. What else? Helping someone. Did you have an answer? What about if you remember something special, like their birthday, or maybe that they're sick, or maybe that they have a test coming up? So if you remember things about them, that's another way that you can show them that you love them, right? Yeah. So a long, long, long time ago, Jesus was with his disciples. And right before he was going to be crucified, he had a very special dinner with his disciples. And during that dinner, he washed their feet, and then he gave them some special bread and some special juice. And when he washed their feet, that was to help remind them that they're always supposed to help other people and serve other people. But you do? Good! I'm so proud of you. Good job. And you do too? Good. How many, what about the rest of you? Do you guys help other people? Good. So you guys have that one down. All right. Good job. Now, the bread and the juice, what was that supposed to help them remember? Yeah, it, so it is supposed to help us remember that Jesus was going to die on the cross, or it was supposed to help his disciples know that Jesus was going to die on the cross for, for them. And it helps us remember that Jesus died on the cross for us. So today, we are going to do communion as a way to help us remember that Jesus died on the cross. Now, Jesus died. Why did Jesus die? He, he did. He wanted to give his life for us. That's right. Because that is the, that's the juice and the bread. That's going to help us remember. He died because he wanted us all to know how much he loves us. So just like we were talking about before, even though we need to go up and tell our parents we love them and we know that they love us, we know Jesus loves us, but he did this so that we could see how much he loves us, so that we could be saved from our sins. Now, during that supper, he said something very important. He said, do this in remembrance of me. In other words, if we love him, we occasionally are going to do communion as a way of showing him how much we love him. 
So today, when you guys go help with the foot washing, when you guys do the communion, I want you to remember how much Jesus loves you. And maybe you can say a little prayer just telling Jesus that you love him too. Can you do that? All right, great. You guys are going to go ahead and get the lamb's offering, and all of these people here are going to show their love by giving you money.